everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome. You're at your home, your happy place. Not a decorating video. And if you clicked on this, you know by the title that this is day one of our 10 day challenge to go zero carb. Uh, why are we doing this? Honestly, I've done it. Uh, I did it started July 7th, two years ago. And I was very, very strict. <laughs> I did not go off until we went on a vacation. And I'm just gonna tell you, I had never felt better than ever, ever. And I'm in my, well, I have to say late 60s now. I mean, after 65, isn't it late? <laughs> so I'm telling you, I felt better than I did in my 40s. And so I just really, it's not just that, you can see by all the testimonies, if you did any of the research that I linked, and if you haven't, I will link them uh, again below. So many people that have chronic illness, whether it's their diabetes or um, there's people with really bad kidney disease, heart disease, uh, vascular disease. Of course, um, it's, keto which is low carb was once prescribed for children um, who couldn't take anti-seizure medication so we know that it it's really good for your brain as well so this is just an opportunity to try it out and have a little support and have some questions answered and um, I'm not a doctor so I am not telling you that this is a prescription for health I tell you to do your own research, and if you have a chronic illness, you should check with your doctor, and definitely do not stop taking medications uh, based on what I just said, or really anything that you see on, on video. Talk to your doctor about it. Okay, so hopefully y'all started with me. Right now it's around 1.30 in the afternoon. I chose not to eat yet. I'm not hungry even now. And um, I find out that when I've been uh, off the diet, which I was because we were on vacation and just got home last night, that the best way to break some of my bad habits is to fast. And intermittent fasting is a wonderful part of this because you'll find that you're not gonna be as hungry. And as I said in the short video I posted yesterday, only eat when you're hungry. You need to know, you need to have a plan, you need to have stuff in the uh, refrigerator of your house that you can eat if you get hungry. Hopefully by now you have weighed yourself, you've taken measurements. I encourage you to take measurements, not just at your chest and your waist, your tummy, your hips, but do your thighs, your arms, sometimes your wrists, the neck will also change. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't recommend weighing yourself every day. But if you need to, do it. But write all those things down and I'm gonna come on every day and have a little chat with you. And this is also then an opportunity for you guys to put your comments or questions down and I'll do my best. But as I said before, I am not the resource. Uh, I really highly recommend uh, Dr. Barry, Dr. Ken Barry. He's got probably a thousand videos out there and you can search and find something based on what your you know, complaints are or your questions are. Are you worried about your cholesterol? He just did a really, really good video with someone about that. Um, are you wondering what you should eat? Well, um, I think uh, I've, I've linked her before. I can't think of her name right now, but uh, I, I wanna say Laura, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I'll link her below. She keeps putting out videos on what she eats in a day. And she's, uh, she's a little bit more like me. She'll do seasonings. Um, she does uh, pickles. And, you know, people just kind of decide what it is that they're going to tolerate or not tolerate. Um, so let's say you're having a hard time today and you need something sweet. You don't, but if you feel like you do, these are things that uh, I have cheated with and they're not really cheating but they are um jello product makes a zero sugar jello in strawberry in orange in lime and i think black cherry so 
If I'm really, really needing something sweet, that is just enough for me. And if I really am having a hard time because people are having birthday cake or something, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the company, but whoever makes the little spray whipped creams that we buy, they just recently came out with a zero sugar one, no carbs. The other thing is don't forget, if you've given up coffee and soda, that means you have a caffeine <laughs> flowing in your body. So I don't want you to go through that withdrawal at the same time. So keep, a, keep having a Diet Coke if you need it or a coffee if you need it, just to stave off the problems that you're gonna have with a caffeine withdrawal at the same time as a sugar withdrawal. What I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna link some specific recipes um, some dry rubs, some things like that. I always link some books for, for those of you that like recipe books, but you know you can find most of this without paying for it on YouTube. And um, I guess that's it. I wanna know tomorrow, did you notice anything different? So really try and pay attention to yourself. Because uh, the first few days you can, some people go through something that they call like keto flu or low carb flu where you get a little brain fog, you might get a headache, um, maybe you even get nauseated. When I first went on it, uh, I was in the bathroom a lot. So, but I, I wasn't the only one. I remember hearing people say, yeah, when you first start this, you wanna make sure you're close to a restroom because it can come on you fast. So I'm gonna cook up some bacon. I'm going to boil some eggs. I am going to probably have a blackened salmon for dinner that was in the freezer because I haven't been to the store yet. And um, I'm again, I'm just not hungry, but with the egg, I will make um, some deviled eggs. So I am gonna use mayo and mustard with that. Now I'm gonna do a sparkling water. Um, I do drink water kind of off and on all day long and during the night whenever I wake up I have water so make sure you do that here's another thing some people will find they're not getting enough um, salt so two things if you start having any kind of cramps I recommend having some salt crystals if you buy Redmond's in the package where you need to grind it down those are salt crystals that you could put in your hand um, some people carry some in a in a baggie, I guess, because they have cramps so often. Um, there's also a, a product called leg cramps, but really what you're missing is when you start this, um, eating this way, you're washing out a lot of water weight because carbohydrate means that we're holding water. And so as you wash that, so does the salt go out and then you start having uh, electrolyte imbalance. So definitely have some salt on hand and suck on that. It will make your cramps go away. And um, if you're having a real craving for sweets, do the same thing because there's something how we relate our salt to sweet. But if we replace when we're having a craving for sweet and we replace it with a, a salt in our mouth, um, it can make that go away. What else? Um, you're not gonna miss things the first day, I don't think, but if you're missing a crunch, pork rinds would be another option to have on hand. I have leaned heavily into my crutches, if you wanna say it, for uh, when we have company and stuff, if, if everybody's munching around on chips. I mean, I love chips and salsa. I, I love potato chips and French onion dip, but they have really expanded the flavors in pork rinds. And they're sometimes hard to find, but uh, my favorite right now is a chili lime and there's no carbs in it. All right, I'll check in with you tomorrow towards the end of the day, see how you're doing. I'll read your comments and answer your questions to, my, to the best of my ability. And I'm just hoping that those of you that want to do this are able to make it through 10 days. And those of you who make it through the 10 days and wanna continue, I'm going to continue with a weekly support. Um, I don't know if Patreon costs me 
If it doesn't cost me to start a Patreon account, I will start one for free for you that are wanting to participate. And that can be a place where you can put all those questions or, you know, ask for support or you want to put in, uh, you know, what, what's gone away. And I know what happens. People want to shout it from the rooftops when they start feeling so amazing. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay, I got hungry. I baked uh, bacon. I saved my grease. That wasn't all. <laughs> I've just topped off two of them.